UCLA ASDA wants to give a brief presentation regarding ethics and clinical dentistry. Typically, when we talk about ethics, we are talking about the difference between right and wrong, and sometimes these lines can become blurred. In today's lecture, we are going to be talking about the principles of ethics instilled within the ADA Code of Ethics, as well as a couple of different scenarios that may play out in your future practice. We want you guys to be the decision makers and leave your comments in the YouTube comment box below. The following picture illustrates three people who have had to make an ethical decision at some point in their life, and their decisions are deemed to be unethical by the general public. The person on the left is Bernie Madoff, and he is in charge of running one of the, one of the biggest Ponzi schemes in American history. The person in the middle is Lance Armstrong, winner of seven Tour de France's, but he was accused of doping allegations which helped him uh, gain an unfair advantage on his opponent. And the person on the right is Richard Nixon, who is widely known for his involvement in the Watergate scandal in which he spied on his opponents in order to get re-elected. Now, a code of ethics is seen throughout the workforce. The American Medical Association has their own code of ethics. The American Bar Association has their own code of ethics. Even the American Birding Association has their own code of ethics. And these code of ethics help guide us into basically determining the right decision when confronting um, a serious dilemma. And this also goes for dentistry. In dentistry, we have something called the ADA Code of Ethics, which is a long document outlining the five principles of ethics. The five principles of ethics are the following. Patient autonomy, non-maleficence, beneficence, justice, and veracity. And throughout this lecture series, we are going to be going through each of the principles of ethics and describing what these principles are as well as a scenario that may play out in your future practice.